Hey, girls. Have a look. I can't see anything. And where's the head? A headless horseman. Oh, no! I'm <laughs> scared. <laughs> hey, let's see. Look. This is the head. This is an eye. Oh, you're so lucky. I'm Aww. so happy to leave this job. I'm so tired of working for peanuts. So you'll work in the kitchen at home. <laughs> and in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, it's much more fun. I think you should all get married. I'm about uh. to. Leika has even bought the ring. Mm-hmm. Varya, it's you who needs to get busy. Oh, come on. Really, how old are you, Varya? 25? <laughs> hey, let's go sit down at the table, ladies. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go. Uh, I wish I could drink. Hey, stop. Ah. You can't. So may I have some juice, please? Here, I'll pour you some. Apple juice. What kind? Well, what are we celebrating? Hey, Miss Fetlana, please come sit down. Later. Today is your last day. Well done. I need you. <laughs> it's urgent. Go on and start without me. She and oh my god, what do you think's gonna happen? There's an audit from Moscow tomorrow. We need your help with this. Can you do it tonight? All right, I'll do my best, Svetlana. Mm -hmm. Father for Sophia, part one. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Could you please take a picture of me with the town in the background? I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. What's with the cold shoulder? I'm from Moscow, by the way. Sorry, but I'm late for work. Why don't we do this? I'll get you off work. I'll tell them that I'm your fiance, and I just came back on leave from an assignment. Are you drunk right now? Why? I don't believe you were in the military. In Moscow, it's always like being at war. It's just the same, honestly. There are so many people. Ask any of them to take your picture. Well, geez. You're a real nerd. <laughs> mm. Where are the invoices from last month? Where is the ledger? What we have here is a disorganized mess, Svetlana. Don't worry, I'll take care of this, Mr. Vadim. Vari will be here any minute now and everything will be fine. It's so hot here. Please forgive me. Where have you been? Here. Here are the reports, the invoices, and checks. I've made a full report for the last quarter and a shorter report for the rest of the year. Ooh, well done. Thank you, Varya. You could take a lesson from this young lady. <laughs> what are you talking about? I raised that youth by myself. Come on now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why that sad look? I haven't been sleeping, and I ran into this rude guy. Good afternoon. Sorry I'm running late. What are you doing here? Igor, good to see you. How are you? What's the weather like in Moscow? Yeah, it's warmer. Warmer than it is here. <laughs> <laughs> sit, sit. You're welcome. Let's sit. see here. Let's see. You covered your tracks, huh? Go on. Take a look, Igor. Everything is in perfect order. Well, let's take a look here, and we'll see what you have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, Varya. Huh? Varya, I'm sorry. I have uh, some more questions for you. I have two meetings, but I want to go back to the discussion we were having regarding the report. I think it's better that you discuss it with Miss Svetlana. But I know who's responsible for the work. Look, all I do is help bring the reports up to date. That's all. Really. Well, we're having a meeting at the office today. Bring all the documents. No, no, scratch that. Let's do it at a restaurant. Then we can have dinner as well. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know a nice, quiet place with free Wi-Fi, would you? Mm, mm, I know the restaurant. Zvezny is not far from here. Okay, that's great. Zvezny. Let's meet at Zvezny at 7. Try not to be late. I'll see you then. Huh? Yes. And...
Igor. Hello. Oh, Varya. Good evening. I'm so sorry for being late. It's okay. Look, everybody is so dressed up. We would have been better in the office. No, not the office. I would have died of hunger. We could have ordered pizza. Uh, Varya, don't bring out the documents now. We'll have time for that later. Uh, later after dinner, okay? Why don't we order? Is there anything you'd recommend? Oh, no. I've only been here once before. It was a friend of my mother's birthday. Long time ago. <laughs> and I'll just have coffee. Uh, excuse me, waiter. Uh... Ready to order, sir? Yes. The fettuccine pesto pasta and two caprese salads. Hmm? I hope you don't mind caprese. What language were you speaking? <laughs> <laughs> it's restaurant language. It's okay. We'll go to these places a couple times and you'll learn it. By the way, can we be on first name terms? We're around the same age, aren't we? Of course you can call me by my first name. But, well, you are our auditor. I think we're done with the audit for today. So why did you come here? Well, of course. For the delicious food and conversation. That means you have questions for me, don't you? Yes, I do, actually. How can you know accounting so well, being as young as you appear to be? Hmm? Well, I guess I'm just a nerd. Varya, were you offended? It was a joke. Well, I was upset that you blew me off just like that. So tell me, were you really in a hurry or did you just not like me at all? Please don't tell me that you're married. Oh no, I'm not. Thank God. Don't even worry about it. I've been called <laughs> nerd at work many times before. <laughs> Maybe it is because I'm a little bit of a nerd after all. Well, the nerd has finally found her man. And of course, you're not a nerd, Varya. You're smart and beautiful, and I bet it's hard for a lady like you to find a decent boyfriend, isn't it? Oh no. There are many girls like me that work. And I also have a lot of really nice guy friends. Mm. And also, there are decent guys with good jobs. Here. Yes. For example, a manager from a cold store facility who earns 200 euros per month. <laughs> but that's not the main thing. The main thing is to meet an intelligent person. Varya. Varya, an intelligent man wouldn't have the courage to approach a lady like you until he earns his first million. Having dinner with a millionaire? No, but I am on my way. <laughs> this is where I live. <sighs> what a wonderful town you live in. I wish I could live here. <laughs> oh no, you would be bored here. It's much too quiet. Nothing ever happens. Are you happy here? Me? Mm hmm Yes, I am. My mother lives here and so does my friend. But of course there are times that I want something more out of life. Am I being foolish? Why? You deserve the best. Do you really think so? Yeah. Well, thank you for walking me home. I have to go so my mother won't worry. Varya, can we walk a little longer, please? Please, we'll call your mother. Var no. Mm. Is this what you always do? Business trips? A stupid girl waiting for you in every town? Whose names you won't even remember by the morning? Varya, you're so smart, but you're talking nonsense. Do I really look that predictable to you? Tedious business meetings, career, women with a void in their souls, and suddenly, here I meet you. And you're so real, without a fake smile, and without wanting to impress anyone. Don't run away from me, Varya. Good morning. So what now? Let's have breakfast, then you can... show me your town, okay? 
And after that, you'll just leave? And that's all there is? Mm. <laughs> Have you forgotten about cell phones? I'll be waiting for romantic texts from you. Would you even respond to me? <laughs> of course I will. What are you talking about? And then what? And then I'll be waiting for the weekends. Mm -hmm. I'll come visit you. I wish that you could live in Moscow. Then I could take you to all of my favorite places. In Moscow? <laughs> what would I even do if I came to Moscow? There are so many women like me. <laughs> Varya, you're so wonderful. Besides, didn't you tell me that that you wanted something more in life? <laughs> Come on. Are you going to leave everything behind and move to an unknown place? What do you mean, an unknown place? I'm going to Moscow, to work. Why don't you like this job? You'd throw away a job like this for some unknown firm. Come on, tell me. You fell in love, didn't you? Well, there is this guy, but... Varya, I'm so happy for you, finally! <laughs> Listen, are you going to move in with him? Of course not. I will be provided with a dorm room. Besides, how can I just drop in on him from out of nowhere? I see. But if you need help, you should contact Boris Yakovlevich. I also have relatives there. Distant relatives, just in case. I see. Rita! <sighs> Rita! Let's have dinner. Come on, come on. Your soup will be cold. Natalia, I told you I don't want soup right now. Oh, my God. Rita, at least let me just serve you a little bit. I don't want it. Can you just go make me a sweet tea, please? Wait, don't make it. I'll have a juice instead. Rina, tell her. Leave her, Natalia. She's stressed out. Stressed? Yes. She's been playing in the orchestra for six years. Mama. I'll say nothing. Oh, Rita. Maybe it's better to stop playing the piano. And then what? If God doesn't give you an opportunity, so what? You can find a job without a piano where you can earn money. Look at my daughter, for example. What did you say? I said my daughter doesn't have a college education. I tell you, please. But she has a perfect job. You want to compare me with your daughter, don't you? We are talking about me, an award-winning virtuoso with a conservatory education. Calm down, Rita. Who do you think you're talking to? She knows nothing about music. Why do you think that? I know music. I know music very well. I have respect for good music. I absolutely love it. Mm. Yes, I've been to the opera once. <laughs> in the big theater. There was a magnificent orchestra. It was beautiful. Are you saying that I play badly? I don't play as good as that orchestra, Rita, do I? Rita, Natalia, calm down. I can't judge you. But I do want to say, I think, that if you haven't gotten results with the piano in the past 30 years, then maybe don't you think it's about time for you to grow up and stop being so damn stubborn, huh? Time passes. You have no husband and no children. Go away. What? Get out of here! Marina. Okay, I'll go. You know what? I'm gonna leave all of you. See how you like that, you understand? Yes. And then we'll see. Who's gonna wanna work for you for peanuts and serve you like I've been doing all these years? You pay 20,000 a year and you wanna have service like in the best homes of London and you want me to keep silent. Is 20,000 not enough for you? Come on, just look at her, huh? You're living in the center of Moscow for free, in your own private room. You should bow to us for such treatment. Oh, so maybe Rita should bow to you too. What about me? I don't live in this apartment for free, you know. <laughs> you are waiting for a raise, aren't you? Here. 
Goodbye, ladies. Why don't you just go? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go forever. You know, your neighbor has been offering me a job for two months, by the way, and she's offering me a salary that's much bigger than you pay. Have a great life, sweet ladies. You're gonna die of hunger. You can't even boil a pot of potatoes without my help. I'm leaving. Okay. And forever. Go. Goodbye. <laughs> Finally, there will be silence in the house. It's okay. She'll be back. <laughs> You'll see. She'll be back here. Wait. Uh, how could I have written it down wrong? Listen, I even have a printout from their website. Profit Job Company. There is no company like that. Well... We don't have one here. Please take a look. The office number is incorrect. Well... Well, what do they do? It's a recruitment agency. They're helping me find a job right now. They promised to give me an address where I could go. For a job? Yes. They played you. What do you mean? Have you sent them any money? Yes, I have. The first payment for the dorm room. I told you that they played you. Wait, how could they do that? They asked me to send them a copy of my diploma. Mm. To send a resume? They didn't answer me right away because the HR director had to make a decision. Well, they did a pretty good job. Igor, hello. This is Varya. Uh, hi. Do you remember that you told me it would be great if I could come to Moscow? I'm here. What do you mean? Are you in Moscow? Yes, I'm in Moscow. You won't believe it. I have quite a story. <laughs> uh, I'm busy now. Is it urgent? Uh? Are you busy? Varya, I can't talk right now. I'll call you back. Yes, of course. I'll wait for your call. Hey, lady. I can offer you a bed. Only 300 for you. What do you say? No, thank you. I'm fine. If you become an alcoholic, I won't deal with you. Come on, Mom. Don't worry. I'll just have this for dinner. If you keep that tone with me, girl, you will go without dinner. Maybe we can order food to be delivered? Everybody does it. Delivery? Yeah. Are we millionaires? It won't be any more expensive than having a housekeeper. Did you order something? Mm, I'm not expecting anybody. Maybe Natalia decided to come back and apologize? I hope so. <laughs> Look through the peephole. Uh-huh. It's Varya. Vera Kulakova's daughter. Oh, yeah. I wish I could tell you how I got here. Oh. Do you plan on staying long? Huh? Oh, hello. Oh. This is for the tea. Hmm.
I really don't understand. I don't. How could you leave everything and just move here? Your mother said you had a steady job and an apartment. No. I came here to meet a man. I thought he would be glad to see me. But he didn't even want to talk to me. He hung up on me. <laughs> Varia. You're not 17 anymore. How could you be so naive? No, I can't understand it myself either. Mm. <laughs> All right then. Why don't you sleep on it? I'll go get a bed ready in the housekeeper's room. Oh, and where will she sleep? <sighs> she left. Just calm down. Mm -hmm. We'll figure out what to do with you tomorrow. Thank you. It smells delicious. Good morning. Good morning, Varya. What are you doing? I ran to the shop this morning. I decided to make breakfast for everyone. Mm. Well done. What are you reading? Those are job postings. There are so many opportunities with good salaries. Good enough for you, perhaps. But Moscow is expensive. Mm. You won't find a good job without a degree. Well, I guess if I don't get a good job, then I'll get a bad one. <laughs> oh, really? What a positive soul you have. <laughs> Rita, I didn't mean that. You need to be more subtle, Varya. Good morning. Good morning. Mom, Varya is going to be a lady of the night. Really? Rita, what are you talking about? I think there are many girls from all over that become ladies of the night. <laughs> so it will be a competitive career venture. Mm. Can we really eat everything? Of course. Who do you think I've prepared this for? Try it. Thank you. Will you drink tea or coffee? We have no coffee, unfortunately. Yes, of course. I've got a good one. Really? Yes. I've got a good one. Just one moment. Oh, yeah, maybe you'll stay with us for a little bit, at least. Oh, really? Aunt Marina, thank you. I'll be out looking for work today, so I won't bother you for too long. Just one moment. Well, if you're willing to cook breakfast for us every morning, I can be patient. <laughs> Good morning. I'm here to meet about the job opening. Go straight down and second door on the left. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. The main office of our company is located in the U.S. What were you thinking when you decided to come for an interview without knowledge of English? I studied English when I was in school. Okay. What type of credit letters did your company use? It was a long time ago. You've been working at the same company for three years. And all this time, not a single promotion. Basically, you were just the assistant to the accountant of a nonprofit firm. I was responsible for the bookkeeping. Our chief accountant, Mrs. Fetlana, always asked me to keep the books up to date. Would the general manager confirm this, if I were to call him? But it wasn't technically my responsibility. So then, if you're going to waste somebody's time in the future, I recommend you think twice before going in for an interview. No. Hey, Elena. Yes, Mr. Boris. We need to check something. Hello, you're interviewing? This, yes. this lady was about to leave. I have no idea why she came. She has no experience. I do have experience. I guarantee you that I am better than most of your accounting team. Interesting. Well, if that's the case, can you find a mistake here? Is there anything wrong? Here it is. You've counted your margin as a price increase. There must be a selling price and divisor, but not a cost price. 
Well done. Really. We'll be expecting to start work tomorrow. But I want to warn you that we have a month probation, just like another company's. Hey, Elena, please hire her immediately. Oh, thank you so much. Well, it's my pleasure. See you tomorrow. Welcome aboard. <sighs> How dare he not ask you to come back for the next season? How long will you stay in the orchestra? Drink. I don't want it. He knows your level of performance. Remember how the Japanese welcomed you? That's all intrigue, intrigue. He knows perfectly well that if you become a soloist, his lover will do nothing in the conservatory. Mother, please stop it. I have a headache right now. It's not his fault I have no talent. Don't ever say that. <laughs> I've spent way too much time and money on you. No, I'll go see him. I'll go see your conductor. I can drop some big names that can intimidate him. Thank God your father had some powerful connections, and now we do too. All of his connections lay in the local cemetery, so don't bring it up. Rita! Well, you can congratulate me. What in the world are you talking about? I got a job today. In my field. Learn from her. She has nothing, but she could achieve something. Well, Varya, if you now have a job, I guess you have some kind of connections, don't you? Rita, I just got lucky, that's all. Why do you downplay it? I'm sure that you deserve it. Go cut the cake. Let's drink tea. Mother, will you have some champagne? What champagne? That's for the new year. Well, let's drink it, Mom. Let's go. Champagne. <sighs> let's a cake. Go. Come on, let's go. Save me a piece of cake. She came from some godforsaken place. I mean, it's even further than my town. She found the mistake in my report in a minute, and then her boss just hires her. Well, you know, our company's motto, a creditor faith or something like that, <laughs> so. It means she's cunning. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see how long she'll last. Good morning. I have an appointment with Boris Yakovlevich. Please wait. He's in a meeting with partners from Chicago. Well, I need to get back to work. Please wait there. Nastia, we've finished. All right, take care. Okay, thank you, Bob. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Oh, Varya, our newest talent. How are you feeling this morning? Good. Good morning. Well, my congratulations on your first day. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I'll introduce you to your co-workers. Hello. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, Varya is our latest hire. Please welcome her and make her feel at home. Give her a hand around the office, if she needs help. Well, I want to introduce you to every coworker. You'll get acquainted as you go. All right, all right, here's your place. Have a seat. Sit down, sit down, please. Sidebar conversations and private matters are after hours. If you're late, you're penalized. Understood? Okay. Oh! Igor, for example, hey. has nearly lost half of his salary for this month alone. Mr. Boris, I, I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep all night. I was preparing for the meeting with our new Enough. entrepreneurs. I'm only interested in explanations that are accompanied by a medical certificate from a doctor. All other excuses what? are counted towards unauthorized absences. Please prepare a report for our meeting. Everyone, please have a good day. All right. Varya? Hello.
Where are all the copies for the individual statements? Sitting Where on are your they? table. Don't cry. There's a mess on my table. So, you need to recalculate all of this and prepare a credit and debts report for tomorrow. All this? You have to step it up. So how are you doing? Everything is fine, thank you. Did you want something? Varya, did you come here because of me? No, it's a coincidence. Okay. So there's no problem between us then? No, everything is okay. Friends? What? Friends. Oh, yes, of course, friends. And please, don't be shy. If, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you, of course. to do. <sighs> Nastya, what's happened? None of your business! Oh. Nastya, anything I can do for you? <laughs> Nastya. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Nastya. <laughs> Nastya, what's wrong? <laughs> and tell him he needs to come back to the office ASAP. I'm asking you, please. But it's late. Why won't you call yourself? Because his wife will recognize my voice. Please call him. Oh God, please call him. <laughs> Give me the number. Hello. Hello, this is the new hire from accounting, Varya Kelikova. Please forgive me for calling so late, but Mr. Boris needs to come back to the office as soon as possible. No, we can't wait until morning. Okay. He's coming. Here is an invitation to our corporate event. We're celebrating the company's anniversary. And, and thank you. I hope you can keep a secret. Of course. The boss will me to prepare an announcement of your promotion to all staff. Congratulations. Thank you. See you tonight. Hi there. Hi. I don't hear the fanfare. Where's the applause? Take a look. Oh! Did you win the competition? Not only did I win the competition, my Chopin was included in the repertoire. Really? Yeah. Rita! Mikey, congratulations! 
Ah! <laughs> oh, you look so beautiful here. Mm-hmm. Really. And what's this? Yeah? Oh, wow. It's an invitation to the company's anniversary party. This looks interesting. No. Why are you still wearing slippers with a duster in your hands? I don't really want to go. Why? Well, I don't want to. First of all, I have nothing and to do. And what wear. is second? And, well... And I just know he's going to be there. And I don't think I can handle that tonight. Uh, who do you mean? Igor. Do you remember? I told you about him. Mm -hmm. I moved here because he convinced me. Ah, you went and got a job in his company, didn't you? No, it's a coincidence. Mm-hmm. No, it's true. That jerk pretends like we don't know each other. Come on. No, it's really hard. I want to quit the firm, but I don't know how to. Are you going to quit? Just because of him? He won't get it. This is what we're going to no, do. No, no, no. I'll find you a concert dress. Mira, there's no way I'm going to that. What do you mean? You'll look so beautiful that he will remember not just the Mira. first time you met, but he'll start talking to you again right then and there. Uh, I Come won't on, go. Let's go. Do you understand? What I color do you like? Go. Red or blue? You gotta choose one. All right, cheers, man. Lena, Roman, Victor, let me say a couple of words and we'll get back to the party. Please excuse me. Can you turn the music down, please? Thank you. Friends, let me congratulate our great and diversified company on its anniversary. I hope all of you are pleased with your bonuses, compliments of the company. Of course, I wanted to mention some of our colleagues. I'm talking about our resident financial manager, Nikolai Vasilyevich. Congratulations. Our congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Our heaven sent angel, Larissa Andreevna. Yeah. And finally, last but not least, we have our talented new hire, Varya Kolakova. Where's Varya? There is no Varya? I'm here. Here she is. I'm sorry for showing up late. It's okay. We're not at work today. Welcome, Aria. You look great. We welcome you. As does the rest of our wonderful team here. We also hope that you're happy working here. Go ahead and have a seat. Sit down and enjoy the party. Don't be shy. <laughs> Well, my dear friends, that's all I wanted to say. Let's keep drinking, but not like last year. Alexandra, let's get that music pumping. Get these people on their feet. Yes, yes. Really? Thank you. My sister gave it to me. Very nice. I also really like your dress. Thank you. Excuse me, may I ask you? Mm -hmm. Me? <laughs> yes, please. Mm. Go on, go, go. Wow. Yeah. Stay here. I'll go get a needle and thread. Where will you find it? Somewhere. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, hell. Igor! Elena, I promise. We'll dance later, okay? Varya. I'm sorry. I have no time. Liuta, just stand right there. You I'll sell it. it? Mm hmm You know, I knew it. I knew that I shouldn't buy stuff made in China, but it was so beautiful, you know? 
I don't know. Maybe you should think about taking a size up. Don't you even start that with me. I have a standard size. Yes, it's fine. Turn around. Now don't move or I'll end up having to sew the dress to you. Oh. <laughs> Ow. It tickles. Come on, quit <laughs> laughing. If you keep laughing, you'll pull out the stitches. Okay. Please forgive me for ruining your party. What are you talking about? I had so much fun. Oh, yes. Well, I'm late for my bus. Thank you so much again. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye. Varya. Is someone picking you up? No, Igor. Can I take you home? I need to talk to you about something. All right, let's talk. I love this city so much. And you? Do you miss your home? Of course I miss it. I have my mother there, my friends. And I have no one here. No, I have relatives here. They're wonderful, but I still feel kind of lonely here. Varya, I'm so sorry I lied to you. I pulled the wool over your eyes about my super career, that I was becoming a millionaire. I'm just an ordinary accountant, a loser who lives with his parents at age 30. And when you said that you were here, I just got scared. I was afraid that you'd see who I really am and, and begin to hate me. I thought... Listen to me. What you do for a living doesn't matter to me at all. And I don't see anything wrong in living with your parents. I think they're proud of you. <laughs> well, they're not that proud. I would be proud. Really. You're very driven, very charming. You're going to succeed in life. Varya, when you say that, I feel like I have wings. And suddenly I believe that everything's going to be all right. And above all, promise me that you'll always be with me. Truly? Truly, Varya. <laughs> You know, Marina probably already saw us. Every night she looks through the window and she always says that this is her favorite evening show. <laughs> Seems like Auntie's doing well, quite the mansion. Her husband was really high up in <laughs> academia. If I were you, I would not fight with her. <laughs> <laughs> She's wonderful. Actually, she complains sometimes. And she has a daughter, Rita, a talented uh -huh. pianist. Do you want to go with me to her concert? I'll go wherever you want me to. Well. I have to go now. Good night, Varya. See you tomorrow. Not a word to mom. How did the party go? It was great. Mm. Rita. <laughs> you know, it turns out, this whole time, he was ashamed that he's just a regular guy and not some executive, and that he's not a boss or anything like that. So that's why he didn't want to communicate. Mm. But the truth is, He's actually loved me this whole time. Mm. Rita, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm a fool in love, aren't I? No. No? <laughs> I 
I just caught myself realizing that I envied someone. <clears throat> Rita. <laughs> what are the words from Romeo and Juliet? It was the lark, the herald of the morn. Hmm? Do you know Shakespeare by heart or something? <laughs> well, I guess everyone does. Not everyone. Don't be so modest. For example, me. I couldn't quote Shakespeare. But you have so many other merits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta get going now. I need to find out what the boss wants from me. Okay, see you later. Come in. Sit down. Sit down. I need to talk to you. About something important. Listen, Mr. Boris. If you're talking about being late with the reports on the new entrepreneurs, it's because there were some errors. But I promise I will finish it soon. You're not an optimist, are you? I didn't call you here to scold you. On the contrary. Really. Do you have a current passport? No, I don't. Of course. I knew that. You'll need to get one right away. There's a very important meeting with partners coming up in Turkey. Get the contact information of the firm we use with Nastia. You'll be able to get the passport in a couple of days. Well, that's it. Mm -hmm. Go on for now. Awesome. One more thing. Work on your English. I'm serious. Really. It's important. I definitely will. Well, that's it. Go. Why are you still standing there? So that's a story. Oh, look, she's coming. Let's go. Knock, knock. <laughs> well, go on, cough it up. Does he kiss well or what? Ew. Don't pretend. I can see it written all over your face. What's written? <laughs> that you and Igor are having an office affair. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look, Romeo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, Igor. <laughs> Let's get some coffee. You tell us everything. We won't tell anybody. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's only at work when he has his business face, but otherwise he's very vulnerable and romantic. He gave me a chain with his name, and he bought the same one with my name for himself. Wow. wow. He probably gets a discount on these chains. He gave one to Polina, one to Katya, and one to Borya. Nastya. <laughs> Stop it, please. Maybe they have a meaningful relationship. People change. What do you mean, people change? <sighs> what do I mean? Igor was a womanizer, and now he's become a one wooden man, didn't he? He wasn't a womanizer. And who is but he? rather, a careerist or something. Some kind of social climber. Igor? Do you remember that Elena girl? She's in HR? Yes. Well, he made a move on her. And not without success, by the way. Yeah, she is 45 years old. The question is, what did he want from her? <laughs> yeah, girls, and what would he want from me? A country girl without a penny to my name? It turns out that your theory does not fit somehow. All right, all right, that's okay. So are you gonna tell us about the main thing, you modest woman you? About what? How is he in bed? Nastya. What, Nastya? I believe that if a man is an expert in bed, then he can be forgiven for a lot, even for being mediocre. But Igor is not mediocre. He just hasn't had his big break yet. He'll be waiting a long time. Nastya. So are you gonna tell us or not? Well, what is there to tell? It all just happened so quickly. Mm-hmm. And, well, he was afraid. <laughs> <laughs> afraid of what? What do you mean of what? Of responsibility, of having feelings. You know? Mm -hmm. We decided not to rush anything and to get to know each other better first. <sighs> That's right. It means this time it's serious. So he has nowhere to bring a girl to. He's waiting until Varya has her own apartment. Don't you get that? Nastya. Nastya, why did you stick around? After all, Igor is not that much older than us. He'll get an apartment by his 40th birthday, and maybe he'll have the edge over your Mr. Boris. Oh. It's okay. Varya already knows. And Mr. Boris keeps it cool. He bought an apartment for his wife and got one for me, too. It's mm. okay. Only that in the evenings, in his apartment, he turns up the volume on the TV so as not to hear the clock ticking. Mm. Yes. And Igor and I are going to a concert tonight. Romantic. 
And all you got was an apartment. Well, what do you think the music critics will say? <laughs> I was right when I told you Rita was very talented. You were right. She was so beautiful today. Yeah. I hope that everything works out great in her life. <laughs> Rita! Maria! Rita. <laughs> You're just well, amazing. Well, how did I look? Was it obvious I was nervous? No, it wasn't at all. Well, hello there. You must be Igor. Yes. My name's Rita. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Um, thank you for the flowers. Now, finally, Varya has showed her beloved to the world. <laughs> you were perfect. It was a romantic rashness, impetuosity, and there was not a, a bit of redundancy in it. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I appreciate that. Are you fond of music, Igor? Mm. Igor graduated from music school. You know, I don't consider my education to be very serious. I'm more of a keen amateur, if I may say so. Oh, well, why didn't you become a professional? One day I realized that I wasn't talented enough. In general, I believe that you need to play like you play, Rita, or don't play at all. Yes. Really? We're about to go to a small after-theater party, and tomorrow my mom and I decided to have a celebratory dinner. Igor, you're invited. I'd be honored. <sighs> Is Igor always so proper? <laughs> <laughs> No, not really. Only when he's trying to impress someone. Ah. On our first date, he hit me with his eloquence. Really, it's true. Mm. If only you knew what that cost me. <laughs> I think it's easy to impress Varya. <laughs> well, I have to go, but thank you. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Igor, does it seem to me that somebody was flirting with my cousin? <laughs> of course, but you did ask me to encourage her. And how is it possible to encourage an old maid? if not with the intention of an interesting man. Well, do you really think she's an old maid? She's only older than you by two years. Well, what can I say? I can't help it if I happen to prefer younger girls. <laughs> put it here. Take the fruit bowl away for now. Just put it there. So, then the cake will go here. Well, what do you think? Oh, it's very beautiful. You can wear that if you want. Mom, why are you dressed like that? Varya's future groom is coming. Well, don't you like my blouse with a bow? <laughs> That's him. Well, hurry up, open it. Well, it's one in a million if they get married. Far mm. as I know, he hasn't even proposed yet. And besides, who is he, son of a minister? <laughs> Surely he's some kind of rascal. Let me introduce you. Good evening. This is Igor, and this is Marina. It's very nice to meet you. Good evening. Mm. 
God, Rita does look like you. She comes from very good stock. <laughs> By the way, these are for you. Thank you. Beautiful flowers. Well, put the flowers in the vase, the cake on the table, and welcome to our home. Certainly, my father's scientific research was not terribly relevant to music. But in our house, somebody always played music. And my great uncle actually knew Shalyapin. Yes, and they were even friends. Shalyapin visited them. So Rita has some shoes to fill. Mom, even if my grandfather and Shalyapin were friends, that doesn't mean that I'm like him. If only Grandma Maria did not sin with the celebrity. <laughs> Don't joke about that. Rita, it's not appropriate at all. Igor understands me perfectly. I'm sure that your ancestors would be very proud by the fact that their granddaughter is a concert pianist. Oh. Thank you, Igor. That is just an opportunity from the conservatory. Well, for once, they gave me a solo concert. Otherwise, I'm just an accompanist. She is overly modest. Her solo performances are scheduled in the program for the entire next season. It's not some kind of one-time charity performance. It's not. Nothing prevents them from canceling it. Rita, what, what do you, you say mean? to that? So many people came to your show, and next time even more people will come. Rita, all I'm saying is that it seems to me it wouldn't even occur to anyone to cancel your performances. Baria, you know nothing about life in the theater. Uh, I heard you playing, Rita. I noticed how the audience listens and responds to you. This is the beginning of great success, believe me. Thank you, Igor. Would you like some more tea? Uh, let me put the you kettle know, on. You know, unfortunately, it's time for me to go. I have to work tomorrow. The office plankton returns from the Temple of the Arts to its accounting galleys. <laughs> Are you plankton? <laughs> I think you're more of a shark. <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> Igor has really good prospects. Prospects? Mm-hmm. In accounting? Yes. Oh, I forgot. After all this day and age, everyone has to count on money, especially someone else's money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand anything about that. Varya, show our guest out. I was glad to meet you. Mm -hmm. All the best to you. Goodbye, Rita. Igor. And now we'll gossip about the two of you. <laughs> You're too funny. <laughs> Mom, how did you like him? He's a typical gigolo. I've seen these kind of men throughout my life. Yeah. I just don't understand what he wants from Varya. This fool probably <laughs> thinks I have her in my will. He is surely mistaken. Mm. Well, I guess Rita likes me. But the old countess did not like me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. Is it really possible for anyone not to like you? She just basically believes that people who work in offices are worker bees. Well, there's no changing her mind at this age. Well, the old lady's not so wrong. Anyway, due to my position... It's okay. Everything will change soon. Igor, we are planning an important meeting with partners in Turkey. How do you know that? I heard rumors in the office. And why did these rumors pass me by? Does it matter? The main thing is that this meeting is your chance to prove yourself, and then the promotion will follow. Do you think so? I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you know, we have chosen the best of the best. You are the most responsible and talented employees we have. So, for the meeting with the representatives of the head office in Turkey, we are taking the following people. Ludmila Novikov, Nikolai Zavalishin, Elena Krasovina, and hoping she learns at least three words of English, Varya Kulikova. That's all. And Igor? And, well, Igor will be leading the team from here. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Igor, wait! Igor! 
I really don't understand why they made the choices they made. I was sure that you were on that list too. Really? Do you think that I can't tell that you're working your way towards a promotion? Igor, I, Igor, I can don't. see it perfectly. And no one cares that I'm a hundred times smarter than you. And everyone knows that I can do this work that takes you two weeks and half an hour. Do you think the boss needs real talent? Or does he need mediocrity like you? Igor. And look how you, how you pretend to be a timid girl. I don't know anything. I don't understand anything. Did your mother teach you to pretend to be a fool? Igor, don't. You wanted to get a worthy man? Well, how did it work out for you? Igor, there are a lot of hardworking people. But there are only four people on the list. So perhaps I'm not as mediocre as you think. Hmm. The main thing is to make sure you bring an iron. Because I took four dresses and all of them wrinkle easily. Why do you need four dresses? We're just going for two days. Because. I'll try them on, and you tell me which one of them is the sexiest one. I also took four sets of underwear, you know, just in case. And there will be Americans there and single guys from a lot of the other branches. What are you wearing to the party? Nothing. Hmm, <laughs> good idea. But I'm afraid that the authorities will not appreciate that. Well, I'm not going to the party. I'm leaving immediately after the official meeting. I've already changed my ticket. But why? I don't want to go. Is this because of Igor or what? Varya, what are you doing? There's a promotion at stake for you. What do you need this foolish loser for? I just don't understand you. I don't care about that promotion. Really. No, of course, I'm very grateful to everyone, but... That's not why I moved here. Then for what, Varya? I came here for him. Oh, and this after all that he said to you? Yes. Really? Do you have any pride at all? Well, no, I have no pride. Could you stop here? Don't Please. stop the car. Are you out of your mind? Lydia. Keep going. Listen, apologize to the bosses for me. Stop, please. What a fool. 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 Let's go. I'm sorry I can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message after the tone. Thank you. Petya, can you get the suitcase? Uh -huh. Well, hello, beautiful. Listen, there was a traffic jam on the way to the airport. Have you been here for a long time? Hey, what's wrong? Mayura, 
Do you think I can stay at your place for a week or so? I can't stay with my family. Well, of course you can. And why did you have to leave home? Weren't you at Igor's? No, I wasn't. I spent one night in a cafe and the other in the office. Oh, uh... Here are your bags. Oh, this is Petya, this is Varya. Uh, hi, I'm Petya. Petya, go home now, okay? All right, then All I'll right, call you later. All, All right. right. Goodbye. Varya? Lahira? Varya? <sighs> Varya? Here, I have an idea. Don't cry. <laughs> Hello? Nastya? Listen, just come over here quickly. No, just come here. Here, Varya's getting hysterical. Bring something strong, okay? What is it? That's it. No more. No more. 500 euro for a bottle. Boris bought it in France. Come on, drink. Wow. Then pour one for me, too. Cunning. Well, girls, we have to figure this out. Uh-huh. I have an acquaintance, a former classmate. He came out of prison recently. He can beat Igor so badly that he won't ever look at a woman again just for fear. Nastya, uh -uh. what you're talking about is illegal. Well... You don't have to do anything. Life is going to punish him. It will mm -hmm. punish for sure. Just wait. <sighs> Remember one simple thing. There is no justice in life. Mm. I remember... Boris's wife tried to put a spell on me once. I was sick for six months. I visited a bunch of doctors, nothing helped. <sighs> then this fortune teller found me herself. She took off the spell for money. A very good woman. I'll give you her number right now. No, oh, no. My grandmother used to say that that was a big sin. Listen to you, Madame Bayadonna. Stop it. Stop putting ideas in Varya's head. You don't have to do what she says. You'll pay for this your whole life. It's not mm -hmm. worth it. So she's supposed to bend over and leave while they laugh at her? And they will laugh at you. That's what they're doing right now. I don't understand, Lyoto. What's wrong with that? All of my friends visit fortune tellers, and all of them are happy. I won't go. I'm not going. I've already been humiliated enough. So that's what you're going to do. You're coming into work tomorrow and pretending everything's fine. <laughs> you have to show everyone that you're strong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to let them think that, that he broke me. I'll give you the number anyway. We'll get your stuff tomorrow. And you will forget about this family like you would a bad nightmare. Come on, let's have a drink. Girls, I... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, come on. I love you so much. What about me? <sighs> Varya. Well, I still don't understand. Well, if I said or if I did something wrong, then please tell me. If I offended you somehow, I apologize. Aunt Marina, I already told you. Everything's fine. I'll say it one more time. I'm just tired of being a burden around here. That's all. You're not a burden. I put on two whole pounds thanks to all of your delicious stews. I can't even fit into my dress. And then you also have made friends with Rita. She doesn't have a lot of friends. Mother, just leave her alone. Maria has a reason. What do you mean? Speak clearly, please. Do you remember Igor, Varya's young man? I remember him perfectly. We're having an affair? And Varya caught us, like in a stupid romance novel. What? I hope this is a stupid joke. Ask her if you don't believe me. Is this true? Really? She's out of her mind. You're crazy! You've gone mad! That's not true, Mother. It's you who's gone mad if you think that I'll let you deprive me of happiness. Do you really think this will make you happy? Yes, I do! I'm going to marry him, and I'll have his baby, like every other woman. Well, what do you think? That only Varya has the right to a personal life? Did he propose to you? You tell me right now! It doesn't matter! What do you mean, it doesn't matter? He probably decided to begin by finding how much you're getting in the will. But I'll give you nothing! I will leave you nothing! Mom, leave me alone! I'm not gonna leave you alone! You will be left with nothing!
So where are you going now? I'm freelancing, of course. My girlfriend suggested that I start my own business. Sounds great. It's still scary. So, what do you say? You going for it? It was scarier for me in the corporate swamp. Because they let people like Varia work at your factory of bookkeepers, mediocrity at its finest. Goodbye, Plankton. And he's gone. Just like that. Why wouldn't he? He now has a girlfriend and a beautiful three-bedroom apartment in downtown. Oh, besides, his legacy will soon catch up with him. Varya. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it true that you didn't go to Turkey because of Igor? No. Hey there. Have you been waiting long? Hmm. Not really. Sorry, I got held up. The office plankton got so upset. We won't let you go. Yeah. I said, no, I've had enough. Hello, Varya. When have you been here, early bird? Hello, Mr. Boris, but I never left. It's the end of the quarter. Oh, you scare me and make me glad at the same time. Still, sometimes you need to sleep. <laughs> right. Okay, if you need me, I'm at my office. Mm -hmm. By the way, congratulations on your promotion. You are the new senior auditor now. Thank you so much, Mr. Boris. It's nothing. Uh -huh. 
I ducked out for five minutes to the store for champagne. Yes, there is a good reason. Yeah, good. That's my girl. Hello. Hello. How are you? Great. Well, I can see that you're doing well. I can't complain. And what about Rita? I don't know. I haven't seen her in a long time. Let's go. Who is that, dude? I don't know. Maybe somebody from the office. I don't even know her name. Are you going to pay? Yes, yes, of course. I see. I just... I need to talk to Rita. Come on in. Shut the door. <laughs> I can't offer you any tea. I'm out of tea. Oh. Aunt Marina, will you let me clean up here and go to the store for you? Just calm down. Don't act like a housekeeper. Sit down. Is Frida at the conservatory? God knows where that fool is. She doesn't call me. She doesn't check in. So she's not living with you here anymore? You girls are such fools. It's as if she was blind. I told her. He's a swindler, a thief. He stole my old watch. What do you mean he stole that? Yes, he stole it. Family heirloom. But she tells me that I lost it. Where could I have lost it? The bakery, the post office. And you don't know where she could have gone with Igor? I don't know. And I don't want to know. Why do you need Rita? I just wanted to know how she's doing. Go to the conservatory. They must know her current address. But I'm warning you. I don't think she will apologize. Is there something you want me to tell her? Tell her. I said hi. Close the door. Mm -hmm. Miss, can you tell me where house number eight is? What? Rita. How did you find me? I went to the conservatory, but they told me you had quit. Well, the conductor fired me, excluded me from the repertoire. So I threw my resignation in his face. It was stupid. Now at least I could get some maternity benefits. It'd be something. And what about Igor? Doesn't he help you at all? I accidentally found out that you broke up. And who's Igor? I don't know that name. Did he leave you when he found out you were pregnant? Does he help you at all? He said he didn't want to clip his wings. A child would pull him down to the bottom. But how could he get any lower? We lived in such a dump. Ten more minutes, sweetheart. Okay, Rita. Let's go. You need to eat and get some rest. I'll cook something delicious. Where do we go? Come on. When we lived with my mother, 
It seemed like everything was fine. He brought me flowers, and he would kiss my mother, but it really wasn't. There was this one time, he slapped me on the face so hard that I fell down. It was right after I realized he was the one who had stolen the watch. Oh well. Ugh. I guess it was what it was. Then he begged for forgiveness, down on his knees. But when mom kicked us out, that was when his true colors really showed. Artist. He's a bastard. So how's mom doing? Does she hate me? Well, of course not. She hates Igor. And I know she would be glad to take you back, I'm sure. Pregnant? Out of work? I don't think so. Rita, you should really try and go see her. She's having a hard time. My mother needed me when I showed promise. That was a long time ago. And now I'm the black sheep. What are you talking about? Are you ashamed? The minute she sees the baby, she will forgive you. My mother? Yes. Yeah. You and your child are her family. You're not these images in a photo album. Maria. Rita, it's nice here. Uh-huh. No, seriously. If you hang some curtains and get a nice rug, then... But Rita, how long has the apartment paid for? I don't remember the last time I paid rent. The manager's abroad, so I just sit here. Let me help you. I have money. How am I your problem? I won't take your money. It's not for you. It's for the baby. Rita, I feel like this is all my fault. This should have never happened to you. <clears throat> Varya, you sound like my mother now. If Varya hadn't brought that man to us, it would all be different, wouldn't it? I'm not talking about that. <clears throat> well, I just know that... <clears throat> when this whole thing happened, I was so tormented, I was hurting, and... I went to a fortune teller, and she cursed you with some... She cursed you with some kind of spell or something. <laughs> Maria, this is nonsense. Forgive me, please. I really didn't want anything bad to happen. I really didn't want anything bad at all. Are you serious? You're so naive. Maria, you didn't come from the country. You fell from another planet, a fortune teller. That's nonsense. I think the water is boiling. <laughs> to the fortune teller. <sighs> really, is being pregnant a happy experience? This is just fatigue. This shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be. And these endless tests. It's as if I'm not pregnant, but sick. In fact, I feel like I'm kind oh, of come on, hush. Is she kicking in? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think I was having a girl. You'd think I was expecting a football player. Oh. Rita, do you know if it's a girl? Yeah. Listen, that is so great. She'll be just as beautiful as you. Mm hmm I was beautiful, and now I'm a toad with a belly. That is not true. You've become even more beautiful. Your face is glowing. Well, it lights up. <laughs> and what will you name her? Sonia. Sophia. That's a beautiful name for a pianist. She is going to be following in your steps? Are you out of your mind? She'll be genuinely talented, like Mozart, like Glenn Gould. That's why I keep moving forward. What do you need? I need Albina, a clairvoyant. I haven't been here for a long time. I need to ask her something. When will you stop coming? She's not here. She doesn't live here anymore. Wait, how is that possible? I need her to fix something. Don't you have her phone number or address? Sure, why not? Prison colony number seven. Convicted felon Victoria Suprum, also known as fortune teller Albina. What do you mean she's been convicted? That's right, she's a fraud, a swindler. She organized a salon here just to fool people. And I was a fool to rent her the apartment. And I was almost charged with complicity. 
I was dragged through the courts. I will never, ever rent an apartment again. Never. Go away. Go on. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, Varya, you're still a silly fool. She stole your man. Layuda, it doesn't matter. Really, it's as if she saved me from him, so it's like saying she took the hit from me. So just drop it, okay? <laughs> so I don't get it. Are you really gonna spend all your salary on the ex of your ex and their child? Really? Listen, I'm going to spend my salary on my niece. Wow. Mm. Okay, listen, I have an idea. What about having your own baby? I mean, if your maternal instinct is so strong, <laughs> then why not? You could take a vacation from work, you deserve it so much. And Petya and I will help you. Even better, let Petya become a surrogate father. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Look, these are so small. Are there really such tiny hands? Wow. <laughs> Good afternoon. Can I help you? Do you already know if it's a boy or a girl? I'm not pregnant. I'm just helping. I'm so sorry. How old is your child? Uh, she hasn't been born yet. I see. I bought the crib in advance, too. When I was only four months pregnant, we always hurry. Mm -hmm. Rita! Rita! Rita, I bought you a couple of things today. You need to start eating healthier. So I went to the grocery store and grabbed you some food as well. Rita. Lord, Rita, what happened? Rita. <laughs> they said she'll have a congenital malformation. Something's wrong with her brain. And if she survives, she'll be deformed or handicapped. Handicapped. <laughs> the gift of the Lord, that's what they say. A descendant of a great dynasty. Rita. <laughs> that's it. I'm tired. I can't go on anymore. There must be a mistake. Rita. Rita, we'll go to another doctor. Rita. Rita. Are you her sister? No. No, I'm a distant relative. I don't think she'll make it through mourning. The only thing that could possibly save her life is surgery. What? Won't make it? Rita? Your Rita is dead. She had four times the lethal dosage. Actually, I'm surprised the ambulance even took her. I'm talking about the baby. The baby's condition is critical, but stable. Perhaps she'll make it a little longer. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Sophia. Sorry? The baby is to be named Sophia. Sophia. 